Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we want to start a new series. So we want to create a basic games. So today they want to be an endless runner. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Depending on your subscription, you're going to have exclusive videos. Uh, you can watch the video before that publish and you can have all my project files from the tutorial and I can help you uh, fix your uh, project and you can have early access on my personal game projects and I can create a game for you from scratch or I can create for you animation, blueprint and more stuff so if you want to talk with me directly you can go to my discord channel so if you have a question or you have a, a problem something you do um, in the your project or your or in the tutorial you can write me from the discord and if you want to send me your game or project to show to everybody to in the channel for free you only have to fill this form you have to put your name your email and your comment why you want to i do with your project or game um if you want to talk with me too you can write me from here too all, all these three, they're gonna be in the description of the video. So thank you, and let's start the tutorial. So first, you're gonna uh, enter to Unreal. And like always do, I, I go to edit, go to um, edit preference, and let disconnect joystick. Now everybody know I hate when they move my, my because I connect the, my Xbox uh, gamepad. So if it, they move for whatever reason, the move my editor so i don't like to do that and also auto save i don't like to save all the time when i i don't want to so well we disconnect this so now we have the third person template so if i go play we have the like the template like basic template so i want to from this endless runner they're gonna be always run forward you only can go to left to right to um, evade uh, obstacles or things like that. So, and we want to jump too, so that is perfect. So we need to adjust this um, third person template to our uh, needed. So let's do that. So first, let's uh, fix this a little bit because uh, I, like I said, I like to prepare everything first. So go to edit to, go to project settings, I go to when they said user interface yeah, I want to disconnect the render focal rule uh, this is for the widget so if I use a, a, a widget for my gamepad they want to see a, a little lines in the buttons so I don't want to see that so that's better to uh, put this never if if you don't use a gamepad and your game you're not gonna use uh, gamepad support you don't need to do that They're only for the gamepad and also blur i don't like to use blur system because i don't know they give me a sickness for whatever reason so i don't like the multiple blurs. so that's it so also we are here ready so go to input and we need to check what we have axis mapping we want to and delete this one move forward and backward because we don't want to use this one at all so we want to delete it and everything this they're gonna be fine for now. Probably we don't use look up and, and down from the mouse and gamepad. So let me check. Yeah, we want to delete this too. So when I delete this too, because we don't need it, we only need to turn left to right and that's it. So go to action mapping and we are okay with we'll jump. So we're gonna close here. So, and here we want to see the uh, redirector because for whatever reason, sometimes they don't delete uh, if they don't move it. So go to here, all the filter, and go to show redirectors, right here. So that's it. So we want to create a new folder. So right click, maybe new folder, I'm gonna call like that, endless runner, like that. I put this uh, character first because so that way they go all the way they follow to the first. That is the only reason. So we need we have this, so that's perfect. So we need to move a third person 
only the blueprints we only we want to need all these so let's move this to end runner go move it say yes we had a redirector like i said before so we need to fix it fix that redirector and we we can delete it without problem so that's first so go to content and the runner and here we're gonna right click a new folder we're gonna call this character i leave it like that and move this character the blueprint character to the character from the endless runner like that and we want to rename this db game mode that's the first we have a redirector so go to the uh, folder go fix that redirector so go to character and rename this to to db character blueprint so this is gonna be the main character so I want to make a child from this because I don't, I, don't I, I want to have uh, multiple uh, players so I want to use from this one to the main so right click use create a child blueprint class so we're gonna call this DP uh, I don't know red player blueprint like that so th this means that if we um, edit something from here they want to edit all the stuff from uh, all the bio we have so if we want to uh, adjust just one you want to go to use the ones for a child so that's better to have the main one so you don't have to do all the way to, to the other ones so let's use the one so now I said they want to be red so let's change this a little bit so go to um, mesh sorry mesh and let's move this element so we need to find this uh, do, do, uh, double click let's enter and go all the way to the set tint so click here so we need to change this to red so it's already uh, one red so let's go all the way down to the other one now they're gonna be a red color so be okay so this is gonna be fine so save it and close now we have this red uh, character if you wish uh, find the other one we want to change a few things too we have the the main one the one to be tint but also we can change the logo if you want to be another color in my case probably i want to leave it like uh, blue now i want to put red too so let's change this red so there's red zero and zero okay do the same the other one red one zero and zero copy and this one two so one zero zero okay so we can save this close this now we have the red character so save this close this and we want to uh, delete the map because we don't need this map we want to create a new one from scratch so let's go to content go to endless running uh, folder then I right click create a new folder gonna call maps oops maps so in here we got to go to the file in the top on the corner so put new level I'm gonna say basic I'm gonna be create so now we have create they wanna be safe and go to uh, endless runner maps and here I wanna get name map one for example I'm gonna save it uh, that's it so we're gonna go play now they don't have nothing because there's no selected nothing here so let's go to edit go to project settings go to map as mode and here default game mode let's change this to dp game mode select game mode it's gonna be character we want to change this for the rare player and this is gonna be okay and this one to the map one map one so we can save all this so if I go play now we can move but we can move um, uh, forward and backwards because we don't need it so that's fixed already so that's one thing so let's delete this third person uh, folder because we don't need it so let's delete it yes so we have this so now we want to this guy 
when they move to the right or left, they don't move all the body, only use, um, well, and for the body looking forward, so they're gonna look better, so only when I to uh, move something, because we don't want to go to the right. Or, so I don't know why if you understand what I'm talking about. So let's uh, fix this first. So go to the character. So blueprint, uh, no here. <laughs> character, we can save everything because for whatever. Go to D1, character blueprint, the main ones because I want to make this one. Uh, we don't need nothing about the camera because we don't want to move the camera. So that I delete it. This input is gonna be okay. FS forward power. We, we don't need it because already here. So delete it. And we want jump. We don't want input touch. So delete this. So now we can collapse this. Oops. What? Okay. So we can collapse this. I'm gonna put this jump. And this one, they wanna call it collapse to movement input. Like that. And also jump. We wanna delete this. And we're gonna delete this. It's okay. So we have this compound safe. So, like I said, we want to move the character differently. So, go to character movement and we want to find something they call. Why they call it? Uh, here. In character movement rotation settings, you need to go to orient rotation to movement. You disconnect this. So, when I compile and save, let's move this to here. So, let's play. So now, if you go left and right, they're gonna move that orient side. So that is better. For now, do a little funny because the, the light is sliding or something, because we don't want we are not moving forward. But that's gonna be perfect for for my our endless runner. So that's gonna be the basic one. So now we want to be to be moving forward all the time. So let's do that. So let's go to the big character blueprint. We want this kind of thing. We don't need it. So the main graph now in here gonna be. So we want to do it to two different way. The for for now for the for the project we don't need to be uh, uh, one hundred percent finished already. So because I don't want to use uh, tick notes. But for now, for the see if it's working or not, we want to use a tick. So right click, put tick, event tick. I don't like to use event tick because everybody knows they're gonna take a lot of resources. Now later we want to change this for another stuff. But for now, to see if it's working or not, we want to use event tick. That is only for uh, for testing. That that is the only thing. So let's put event tick. And from here, they're gonna be at movement. Oh my, movement input. So we have movement input. So they're gonna give us a target. Why the target is the this actor? So that's perfect because the blue one. They're gonna be a pawn object reference. So like I said, this actor pawn. So it's perfect. And the word direction we need to from somewhere. So they wanna be from the actor. So the best way is right click put actor a forward because we want to go forward so they want to be get actor forward yeah get actor forward vector they're gonna be perfect so we want to connect this to this scale values they're gonna be one for flow we want to put less it want to be uh, slower but one is gonna be okay for we're gonna leave it like that for now so let's compile and save effect go play now it's working forward all the time so that's perfect if i push left they go left go right they go right i can jump i can left i can fall down <laughs> but they working perfect so now we have all the basic for our running um, game so like you see the camera is not really in the right position because we don't see the, too much forward so we want to move the camera a little bit so in the main character, go to um, viewport to see the camera. 
So we have a camera boom, so we want to use this for the offset. We wanna, we don't need it really, but uh, if you, we have it, it's better. So we have already camera boom, so we need to go to the uh, camera offset. They wanna be here, camera. We want, we want to use the length, the distance from here to here, and the socket offset or target offset. I like to use socket offset, so you want to use whatever you like, the target of skate too. So we want to put a little bit up. So let's do a bit C, so let's pull a little bit. Let's see this moving up. So let's move something like 150 maybe. So we're going to pound save, let go play. Now they look a lot better. But I don't want to be that small. Maybe we can rotate a little bit. So let's rotate this, I don't know, like 10 maybe. So we're going to pound save, let go play. Now they look a lot better. We can uh, see forward and we can see better the camera stuff. So that's gonna be the basic for the first part. So now we have all the movements for now and we can jump and we can go always forward. So later we want to, I want to change the speed, thing like that, but for now they're gonna be fine. So thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. So bye bye.